हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑफ लीवर फंक्शन टेस्ट माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर ए टी पी लीवर फंक्शन टेस्ट इंक्लूड बिलिरुबिन एस जी पी टी और ए एल टी एस जी ओ टी और ए एस टी अल्कलाइन फॉस्फेटेज ए एल पी जी जी टी गामा ग्लूटामाइल ट्रांसफरेज पी टी आई एन आर प्रोथ्रोमिन टाइन एंड इंटरनेशनल नॉर्मलाइज रेशियो एंड द लास्ट वन इज द आल्ब्यूमिन दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द लीवर फंक्शन टेस्ट Among these, bilirubin, SGPT, SGOT, alkaline phosphatase, and GGT are increased whenever there is a structural damage to the liver. May, means whenever there is a hepatocyte damage in the liver, these enzymes or bilirubin is increased in the body. PTINR and the albumin are increased in the body when there is a functional damage to the liver. PTINR is increased and albumin becomes decreased when there is a functional damage to the liver. These are the investigation which are done during the liver function test. The first one is the bilirubin. Bilirubin there is a two type. One is the indirect bilirubin or unconjugated bilirubin, and the one is the direct or conjugated bilirubin. Total of the both is known as a total bilirubin. Indirect or conjugated bilirubin enter into the liver and conjugate with the glucuronic acid in the hepatocyte and convert into the conjugated or the direct bilirubin. this process of glucuronization is crucial process for the detoxification by the liver we can measure both indirect and direct uh, bilirubin in the serum sample of the patient now uh, which are the condition when there is a uh, increase in the indirect or unconjugated bilirubin uh, and condition when there is a direct hyperbilirubinemia indirect or unconjugated bilirubin increase in the prehepatic jaundice or the prehepatic cause like the hemolysis sepsis or the gilbert syndrome and the direct or conjugated bilirubin increase in the hepatic cause or the post hepatic cause hepatic cause like hepatitis and the post hepatic cause also known as a obstructive jaundice like uh, cbd stone stricture or the mass this is all about the bilirubin the next one is the liver enzyme liver enzyme include sgpt and the sgot sgpt means the alanine transaminase and s SGPT means the aspartate amino transferase. The normal value of the SGPT is 10 to 45 unit per liter, and the normal value of the SGOT is 10 to 50 unit per liter. These are elevated in the liver injury. Normally, the SGPT is more than SGOT, but when there is a reversal means sgot more than sgpt it suggestive of the alcoholic liver injury sgpt and sgot if there is a elevation is the mild means up to 100 the normal value is around sg for sgpt is around 10 to 45 and for sgot is up to 50 10 to 50 mild elevation means up to the 100 the moderate elevation means around uh, between the 100 to 300 and the severe elevations means more than 300 and the specifically more than 1000 is known as a severe elevation now we will learn about the condition when there is a increase in this sgpt and sgot mild elevation seen in the viral fever induced hepatitis uh, any viral fever like dengue swine flu covid which can lead to the elevation in the mild elevation in the sgpt and sgot other viral fever other fever like malaria or any other other cause of fever can lead to the mild elevation in the sgpt or sgot because whenever there is a damage to the hepatocyte or liver cell it lead to the mild elevation in the liver enzyme like sgpt sgot other conditions are the chronic viral hepatitis like hepatitis b hepatitis c hemochromatosis moderate elevation means between 100 to 300 it is seen in the alcohol induced hepatitis nas non alcoholic steato hepatitis autoimmune hepatitis and the wilson's disease the severe elevations means more than 300 and specifically more than 1000 the severe elevation is seen only in the three condition the severe elevation in the sgpt and sgot is seen in only three condition the first one is the acute viral hepatitis like uh, viral hepatitis a or viral hepatitis e ischemia to the liver or ischemic hepatitis when there is a prolonged hypotension in the body or the acute cardiac failure which can lead to the uh, hypotension in the liver the third condition is the drug toxicity or the toxins like paracetamol or other poisoning to the liver 
the next enzyme is the alkaline phosphatase the normal value is 10, 40 to 125 it is produced not only by the liver but it also produced by the bone intestine kidney leukocyte and the placenta so this enzyme alp is not only increase in the liver disease but it also increase in the malignancy to the bone disease of the intestine disease of the kidney disease of the wbc or in the pregnancy what are the hepatic cause of elevation of the alkaline phosphatase the first one is the obstructive jaundice the second one is the space occupying lesion in the liver and the third one is the infiltrative disorder of the liver like the hemochromatosis glycogen storage disorder gochers disease amyloidosis so this is not alkaline phosphatase is not specific for the liver disease so we have to do other liver function test along with the alkaline phosphatase to diagnose the liver pathology this is all about the alp alkaline phosphatase next one is the ggt gamma glutamyl transpeptidase ggt is elevated in the patient who take alcohol in last few week like two to six week Typically, GGT level rise after the heavy alcohol abuse that has continued to increase for two to six week. If person uh, stop alcohol consumption for two to six week, then its level is gradually decrease and it become normalized. So, GGT level is used when there is when alcoholic patients gives the false history or patient doesn't give history of last alcohol consumption then if ggt is positive that suggests you of patient had taken alcohol in last one month but the things to remember is it can also increase increase in the patient who take barbiturate or phenytoin tablet the next one is the ptinr prothrombin time and international normalized ratio it is the test used for the bleeding tendency of the patient it evaluate how well all coagulation factor work in the coagulation pathway specifically extrinsic and the common pathway of the coagulation cascade it is elevated in the acute severe liver injury it is not elevated in the uh, mild or moderate liver injury so if ptinr is deranged that suggests you of the liver injury is severe it also elevated in the chronic liver disease like cirrhosis of liver obstructive jaundice or patient who is on warfarin uh, like cardiac patient after the valve replacement majority of the patient are on the warfarin in the warfarin uh, patient also had a high ptinr if patient having a snake bite or the vitamin k deficiency then the ptinr value is elevated the last investigation of the liver function test is the albumin it is the part of total protein which includes the albumin and the globulin the normal value of the albumin is 3.5 to 5.5 gram per deciliter the normal value of the total protein is 6.5 to 8.5 gram per deciliter the rest is the globulin normally albumin is more than globulin but uh, when the globulin level increase than the albumin then it is known as the ag reversal AG reversal is seen in the chronic liver disease. If patient is having a cirrhosis, then albumin globulin reversal is seen. Half life of the albumin is 18 to 20 days. So, if patient is having a acute disease, so albumin doesn't goes down or reduce. It is not good indicator for the acute hepatic dysfunction because the half life of, of albumin is 18 to 20 days. Hypoalbuminemia is seen in the chronic liver disease like the cirrhosis of liver. This is all about the liver function test. I hope you would enjoy the session. Thank you.